your belly ever looks like this, whether you're putting your shirt on, you're getting out of bed, you're doing your workout, you have some diastasis recti, but don't freak out just yet. There was actually a research study done that said 100% of women have some degree of diastasis recti by the time they reach 40 weeks pregnant. My name is Dr. Nicole. I'm an obstetric pelvic floor physical therapist, and not only have I seen lots and lots of clients with the same bulging happening during their pregnancy, but I also have experienced this during my pregnancy. I'm now on my third pregnancy, and with each one, the separation seems to get a little bit bigger, a little bit quicker. In fact, the video you saw at the beginning of this video, that clip, was actually me and my belly. So I am very familiar with diastasis recti, and I wanna make sure you know all about it too by the end of this video. To explain what is going on with diastasis recti, I wanna use these two bananas as an example today. We actually have four layers of abdominal muscles, starting with our deep core muscles, which are our transverse abdominus muscles. We then have internal obliques and external obliques, which help a lot with breathing and moving our ribs in and out. And then we have our six pack muscles on top, which get all the publicity. They're the ones everybody talks about, everyone wants to have. And what is going on with diastasis recti is these two bananas are going to be pretend to be our six pack muscles or our rectus abdominis muscles. Before getting pregnant, most of us have a pretty tight knit rectus abdominis relationship. This would be my right side, this would be my left side, and they're pretty close together. There's a pretty small gap in there. Maybe one or two finger separation there that's considered normal. But what happens when our uterus grows because our baby is growing is that those muscles have to separate to make room for that baby to come through, for our belly to grow, for our uterus to have a spot to go. And as that separation happens, sometimes we notice a little more mushy squishy down the middle of our bellies. And when we go to do something like get out of bed or sit up, we increase the pressure inside of our abdominal cavity so much that things start to bulge out that gap, that gap in our two rectus abdominis muscles. And when you see that bulging right down the middle, weird disfigured shape of your belly, it's because you have that separation and you're not able to engage your deeper core muscles enough to be able to hold everything together. Now, as I've said, there's research out there that says that 100% of women end up with this separation during their pregnancy. So you're probably wondering, why are we even talking about it if there's nothing we can do about it? That's actually not true. And the reason is, is that yes, there is separation in maybe all women, but there's different degrees of separation. So after you've had your baby, I would probably do a assessment or a test to look for diastasis recti. And for that test, you would be laying on your back and I would put one finger in your midline of your belly and I would have you do a slight crunch up and I would feel how big is the gap between your right rectus abdominis and your left rectus abdominis. For some women, I can only fit one finger in there. For some women, I can fit all 10 fingers in there. There's also the factor of how deep do your fingers sink in when you do this test. Since there's varying degrees of how much that separation is, we really wanna make sure that we're preventing that separation from getting big as much as we can to make your postpartum recovery a little bit easier. There's all sorts of theories on what we can do to prevent diastasis recti. Some people really like belly binding or wearing some kind of a support, but as a physical therapist, I really love to advocate for core strengthening, specifically strengthening our transverse abdominis muscles so that we can maintain tension in that tissue and keep those muscles as strong as possible so that after you have your baby, we can really focus on not just closing that gap, but creating tension so that everything is held in nice and tight. You don't end up with that belly pooch or that I still look like I'm pregnant even though I had my baby two years ago look. If you wanna know what exercise I recommend my clients do during their pregnancy, I'm gonna point you to this video here. I go over a full tutorial about what position to do the exercise in, how much to do the exercise, and all the breathing that goes along with it. Highly recommend you check out that next. Thanks so much for watching today and I will see you all in the next video.